What is happening, sports fans? It's your man, Matt, from the DFS 5-pack. I am not rocking it solo. I'm back with my with my main man, the DFS Patriot. What's happening, bro? What's going on? Yeah, glad to get back on here finally with work, life, baby, kids. You know, things get in the way, but, you know, glad we can make some time and get this thing rolling. Yeah, we uh, – it's been a minute since we've been able to get on here, but I'm glad that we are able to talk out this – monstrosity that of a slate that this is this is just uh welcome to the end of the season nba right i mean that's how it is it's literally from here on out it's going to be like stars and scrubs every night and you know with all the news that you know good thing you didn't make this video any earlier because it, it'd be irrelevant at this point yeah i mean that's always the risk right like it could turn out that this video is irrelevant because freaking right. Dante Murray and Trey Young are out. You know what I mean? Like, at this point, who the hell knows? And we've got the game with maybe the most value, at least started the day with the most value, two hours later than any other game. Um, just a crazy slate. I'm excited to talk it out, to talk it over with you. Before we get into that, going to shout out our promoters. We haven't really been on here to do that much. So we're starting to work with a new site called ABC. Islands. I know you've been really hot on the betting side. Has that continued? Yeah. So uh, this week I actually was break even, which you know, and when you're betting, it's never never a loss. You break even. So uh, yeah, I, I haven't paid out my guy in over two months now. So this makes a two two month mark. So yeah, I've been cooking. Um, you know, it would have been a lot better. MMA was not great this week. You know, just didn't didn't read the card well. But you know, it happens sometimes, and you know. Like I said, you know, as long as you're not paying, you're winning. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm with you there. So excited to get on here more when we both have our schedules figured out more reliably to make some betting content. We'll have the link to the ABC Islands website and our promo code in the description section. Um, yeah, man, this slate. So let's hop into it. Let me share this screen. We start out with a game that doesn't have, like, the first couple games don't even, like, have that much to talk about, considering how much news there is in other spots. But Denver and Charlotte, I mean, big men versus Charlotte, right? Do you just lock in That's, Jokic with the value? Oh, with, with all the value, you kind of got it. I mean, I, God, I've been saying it for how long with, you know, big men versus Charlotte, big men versus Charlotte, even, like, the worst, you know, guy, like a Roby type, was kicking, you know, kicking Charlotte sideways. So a guy like Jokic, I mean, yeah. Give me all the Jokic with all the value tonight. Yeah, I, it's really hard not to play Jokic. I mean, you look at the slate, like, he's just by far the top stud. And you can fit, like, him and Murray if you want to play Murray. Um, I think Jokic is a lock. No one else on Denver really does anything for me. How about you? Nope, not without the value on the slate. Yeah, I mean, even without the value, like, I wouldn't begin to anyone on Denver. So, with it, no thank you. Anyone from the Charlotte side you're going to get to? No, I won't. I won't. Again, I won't touch it with what's available. Yeah, I won't touch Charlotte either. Not a great spot. So many other teams that are in really good spots here. So, moving on, because we got nine games. The Magic and Cavs. Orlando. Yeah. Damn, Garland's 10-3. I mean, he deserves it, but damn. Yeah, no. Wendell, from the Orlando side, is there anything you like? No. No. Orlando's being weird with their rotation, too. Like, I, I just no. Yeah, they got Wendell Carter back. back. So many good spots that we're going to get to. No thanks. I feel similarly, similarly about Cleveland. Uh, I mean, I, I, there's no one here I'm going to use. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind taking a flyer on Karis LeVert. You know, kind of, they're trying to get him back in the flow before the playoffs start up. Only 5,600. I mean, again, he's he's fine. I, I don't love him, but, you know, I love them more if there wasn't as much value on the slate. Yeah, exactly. That's all it is. I mean, I think Levert, Levert's a fine play at 5,600, but given the other spots we're about to get to, man, like, no way. There's I, no need I, for it. Yeah, there's just no need for it. Amen to that. All right, Atlanta at Indy. Very good spot for Atlanta. Is Trey Young a guy you're prioritizing? I don't – I mean, maybe. I like DeJounte Murray better, but, again, is he going to play? Like right, that's, exactly. That's what makes me nervous, you know what I mean? Like, I like Murray better. I think Murray's in a better spot, obviously. 
Uh, I mean, both, I mean, again, these are two guys that like, it doesn't matter, you know, they both play at a high pace with these two games. You know, Indiana guys, sucks now. Close. Like, uh, they're, it's not maybe the same spot as Houston, but it's not like the Pacers of old. Like, this team is a G League team at this point. Oh, yeah, they're completely decimated. So, like, I think Trey Young's in a good spot. Guys crush Indiana. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, absolutely. And, I mean, the other thing is, too, is, like, you know, if Brogdon, if Bogdan's not out, if he's out, I mean, then that's just more opportunity for him. Yeah, I think he's right up there, like, with Deontay Murray, as you mentioned. Um, no one else from, from Atlanta does it for me at all, though. Uh, I don't think there's anyone for you either. No, there's no. Nothing, and honestly, on the other side, there's nothing either. So there's nothing for me now, but if Goga is out, then I like Jalen Smith, man, at 5,900. Like, if Goga's out, he's going to play big minutes, like, at center. He wasn't great last time, but he did, like, he was awful in his first run. Like, I like him like you like Levert, if Goga's out. Yeah. that And that makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you run into those things fine, so be it. Um, but, yeah, you know, again, like we've said, and we're probably going to keep saying, with all the value on the slate, it's just a mutual point. Yeah, amen. All right, next up, Sacramento at Miami. Really good get-right spot for Miami, who has not looked good recently. From the Kings side, so Fox and Sabonis have been ruled out. Davion Mitchell's been really good. He's priced up to 74. Do you have interest here? I don't know. I mean – you got to think at one point with how bad and all the turmoil that's going on in that team, like they're going to explode on someone. And I feel like tonight's tonight they can just absolutely bury the Kings. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I don't think that matters that much for Mitchell. He is pricey, though. Yeah, I mean, God, what was he two weeks ago? What was he, like 4,000? Yeah, thirty eight hundred. Um, that's what I mean. Like, that's just like, I mean, and, and rightfully so. Like, I'm not yeah. Right now. But it just, I just can't see myself paying that price for him. And again, you know, with all these spots available, Miami with a pace down spot for them, I just don't see it before paying off. Yeah, I agree with you. The pace down spot, he's going to be low on, but he should be low on just given the amount of other plays are all over this slate. No one else from Sacramento does anything for me. How about Miami? Uh, you know, Miami is a tricky spot. I mean, they need to win, they need to play well. Like, I don't mind taking a stab at Jimmy Butler, um, but I, I, don't, I, I just don't know if I get anywhere here. Yeah, I don't either. Um, Butler looks good. I will say, like, against the Kings in the spot, I expect them to, like you said, I expect them to take care of business here. Right. And, like, I don't even mind Bam, but, like, again, I'm not going to – I don't want to use both my center spots, you know, that easily. Like, obviously, Jokic is going to be one of them, but, like, the other one's more of a, you know, a toss of what I want to do. There's many other centers. Yeah, there's so many good centers. Yeah, I'm with you. You got Th- you got Tice. You got, like, Eubanks late. Um, right. There are plenty of good centers tonight. I don't think Bam's a bad play at all at 8K, though. Price down. Same with Butler, and I like them more with Hero out. Right, right, yeah. Get Hero the hell out of there. Yeah, exactly. Bulls and Knicks. You got... Uh, Randall's in, in. Nothing from this game I'm going to get to. How about you? Nope. This is a complete wash game for me. I didn't think this is a gross game overall. I agree. Um, yeah. Moving on. And it's just a spot where all the guys are like priced up. It's mid-tier where it's not a slate to use the mid-tier. The Knicks are all priced up with Randall back, and the Bulls are – the same as they've always been. They've got those three guys. Any given night, any of them could have a huge night, but not where I'm going to prioritize tonight. Then we get to a spot where you're going to have to prioritize Boston at Toronto. Not a particularly good spot for the Celtics on paper, but no Tatum, Brown, Robert Williams out for a couple weeks. Horford's yeah. out tonight. Um, who are the locks for you from Boston? I mean, I think you got to look at Tice. Like, you really got to look strong in Tice. He's literally the only big man they have besides the Luke Cornette. They do um, have Luke Cornette, though. They, oh, God, that makes me want to vomit. Um, that guy's so bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, so I think, you know. And the I'm problem with talk- Tice, here's the problem with Tice, like, and I like him here. How many DK points do you expect from him? 20. 
Like that's good points per value, but I don't think you want to use a roster spot on that. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah. and that's the thing. I mean, I think you gotta you gotta really look at like I assume my guess is that they're gonna start. You know, they'll start uh, Naismith, Grant Williams, Smart, White, and Tice would be my guess. Yeah, so, I mean. But I don't want to. Pay, I mean, again, I don't know if I want to pay thirty-seven hundred for Daniel Tice. It's not even. I, I on a lot of slates he'd be like a lock, but on this slate, you just don't need the value. No, I do. I do like Naismith though. I like Naismith. I mean, obviously, I like. I, I will not play Grant Williams, even though he's been playing decently. Um, oh, really, I thought that's your boy. No, oh, I fucking hate that guy. Um, yeah, I like Derek White a lot. Yeah, I think smart Derek White, Pritchard, yeah. all look real good. Um, you know, with with Tice, I always want to say Tice with Tice, as you mentioned, smart White, Pritchard, Tice. I don't like Neesmith. The other guys I like though. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm going back to that well tonight, especially with the amount of shots off the floor, and they're going to try to spread the floor. You know. Mark is going to have the ball in his hand more often. And, you know, more often than not, with Mark is bringing the ball to the floor, he's much a driving dish as much as people think he's just, you know, a ball hawk going right to the rim. He's, he's definitely in a driving dish. So there should be a lot of open shots for him and Pritchard type. And Derek. How Pritchard. many Celtics are you comfortable using? I would say three. But any combination of three. Yeah. I mean, man, I could see using more than three. It's just there's other good spots we're about to get to. Well, and that's what I mean, too. I mean, there's so many good spots. Like any other night, if this was the only game that had this value, I'd say four or five. Yeah, I agree. I'd say, like, five for sure. Right. So, but, like, you know, with the way that it is, I just I just, I feel comfortable with three. I, I'm with you there. And you just got to really pick and choose. Yep. Toronto, anything you like? I mean, Boston's – I mean, I know it's all, all the Boston scrubs, but, you know, They've been playing well. Toronto's priced accordingly. You know, they need as many, they need all the wins they can right now to avoid, you know, to avoid those games. So I, I would probably stay away from them in this spot. I, I don't mind Siakam as a spend up option, given like what you just said. Like they need wins. They play their guys big minutes and they're going against the Boston backups. Right. Yeah. I, and that part is totally true. Like they could totally, like he could feast. Yeah. Right? And it wouldn't shock me. No, I mean, you can only roster so many guys, so that's the problem. We'll get to that when we do building, but Siakam's easy to roster if you want to get there. All right, Spurs and Rockets. I'm with you. Deontay Murray looks great if he plays. I mean, like in that Portland game, he had like 40 DK points in half, and they just didn't need to play him anymore. The New Orleans game, he shot 4-19, and still finished with like 60. Oh man, what's not to like? I here? just, I was gonna say, I see a sixty burger coming in, especially with all the news of like all the Houston guys that are not. I mean, they're quote unquote questionable. I don't see them playing at all. It's literally gonna be Dejounte Murray versus Scrubs. Um, I completely agree with you. Uh, man, the Murray looks great here. Anything else on San Antonio besides Murray you like? No Lonnie Walker. Devin Vassell has been playing good ball. You like him? I don't know. It's just like not the slate for this mid tier. Yeah, well, that's it's just not the slate. Like any other night, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with all these guys. You know what I mean? But like, like again, even a guy, a guy like who will go super under the radar, like Jakob Poto, I think is in a great spot. But like, is this tonight's not the night for him? Nah, nah, it's just not. I'm with you. He is in a great spot. It's just not the night for it. Um, right. Because then we get to Houston. So. Wood is now questionable. Who else was questionable? Wood, Eric Gordon, Dennis Schroeder. Yeah, so Dennis Schroeder. Um, man. I don't Holden. see any of them playing. Same. I'm like Porter, Green, Sangoon, who's coming off yeah. a break. Looks really good. Yeah, what was it? Him and, uh, him and Green were the first combo from like – a wicked long time to get 25 plus in a game or something like that. Okay. Some, there was some stat. I forget what it was. I saw it. But it was like essentially two rookies who, you know, got, got 25, 25 plus. plus. Yep. 
Interesting. Yeah, I mean, I think they're both wildly in play. Uh, you know, coming off two wins in Portland. Portland's so bad. So yeah, it doesn't. And now they're even worse with all those guys being out for the year. Yeah. Sangoon, that's a really strong play. You have to wait and see about the Houston news. But I'm with you. I don't see any of those guys playing. Yeah, and I mean, that locks in, you know, Sangoon for 30 to 34 minutes, in my opinion. Yeah, for sure. Um, the only problem is. Then we get to another spot, which has so much value. Mm -hmm. Golden State and Memphis. Golden State, <laughs> I mean, they're not playing any of their guys. Yep. Yeah, because in the past half hour, Otto Porter, Draymond, and Clay were all ruled out. So Kaminga at 44 looks really good. Looney is another good center option at 43. Um, uh, be careful, too. Peyton is now questionable. Gary Payton. Yep, with a knee injury. I, so if he, he's out, my guy Damian Lee. Yeah, I love Jordan Poole, though, dude. Like, yeah, that, he's, I mean, I, again, deserves a price, but God, that's scary. No, I mean, it's not even guy, scary man. at all. Dude, he shot one at 10 from 42. Like, I watched that. Like, he's just, dude, he's so, like, he's good, so good. Uh, I, so, I, mean, I posted a tweet. I think he's the most underrated player in the NBA. Like, he's so good offensively. Um, he's got a 60-burger coming one of these games. I'm calling it. I mean, it could be tonight. The, the only – see, this is the, the dilemma that I come into. Like, a guy like – so him, DeJounte Murray, Peyton Pritchard, Marcus Smart. Those are four guys who are only point guard eligible. Yeah, it's that's what's very, very difficult also. Point guard and center. Um, right, like – I mean, yeah, I don't think – because of that, I don't think Poole gets, like, any love. And he's my guy. Making me want to play this slate. I forgot that he was on this slate. <laughs> like, I'm telling you, dude, like, one of ten from three. He shot so awful last time. And part of him shooting awful, he, like, didn't shoot a lot at the end. Um, Man, yeah, I'm, I'm calling it now. Like, he's going for 50-plus. And – I get it, like he's AK, but he should be AK, and he's going to make it well worth the while tonight. I like him a lot. I also like him. Yeah, I mean, he could be a great pivot off of a guy like DeJounte Murray. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and maybe yeah. instead of Murray and Scrub, you use a couple mid-tier pieces. It doesn't have to be completely stars and scrubs, especially because I think Poole, Poole puts up like a star number tonight. Or you use Poole and Murray, and you spend up – like. Like, and you spend down elsewhere if you get that with the Oakage. Okay. So we'll see when we build. Um, yeah. A lot of Golden States in play. Your boy Damian Lee, um, mm -hmm. he was really good in Miami, has come back down to earth since. But, you know, a lot of slates, are, but not this one for me. Yep, I agree. How about Memphis? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think. A guy like Tyus Jones has been playing yeah. very good ball. Yeah. But again, only point guard. Yep. And I mean, so like that, I mean, this could be a slate where you could go three point guards. Oh, because definitely. Usually, you know what I mean? Usually I like to go two centers, but like today you could totally go three point guards. Yeah, I think point guard and center are the two that you want to really try to prioritize. And I'm with you. Like, if it's not a center, it's a point Like Tyus Jones. On a lot of slates, again, he'd be a lock this one um man jaron jaron jackson's also questionable like uh, steven adams i just i don't think they're gonna force him to play big minutes and he's expensive he's kind of like your portal like not this slate right do you see like a guy like so a guy that's super sleepy that i feel like is xavier tillman who's been playing yeah. 20 plus minutes except are you gonna can you play him over tice if Jaron Jackson's out, I think you could think about it a lot more. Yeah, both those games were blowouts, though, too. Like, I don't think it's a bad play. I just, on this slate, I'm not going to get there. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Just throwing things out there. No, I, he could only get you 25 here. But even, I don't even know if that's worth it, given what we've talked about with the point guards and how much other value there is. Right. A guy I'm interested in is Dylan Brooks a little bit. Like, he's lost run because of blowout. Um, like, I could see running him with Jordan Poole. Like, look at their games. They've blown out. They blew out Houston. He played 34 minutes against Brooklyn. Like, he wasn't great, but he took 21 shots. 
Then they destroyed Milwaukee. Only played 20 more, 24 minutes. Like, I like Brooks here. Yeah, I mean, I have no problem with him. I mean, the man's – he's chucking. That's for damn sure. And, and blowouts obviously affect, you know, his run. And so people will see that. Um, but, you know, I think with, I think you get a good price jump accordingly, even, you know, despite – the the sub you know sub numbers so I mean yeah I don't, I don't mind taking a flyer on him but I, I don't think he'll probably make my you know I, he, I like might, the, he might make one of three I like that he's small forward eligible I'll say that yeah yep all right last but not least since an island game starting at 10 p.m. when it's when the day started this was like the only game to look at now there's value everywhere from the OKC side I mean they still look great Baisley's doubtful no shy. They're missing Giddy still. Kendrick mm-hmm. Williams out. I mean, I know Robinson Earl is back tonight. So maybe that takes me off Roby and Sar. But what about guys like Poku, your boy Trey Mann, Maladone, Krejci, Wiggins, yes. Walker? All, all of them. Again, it's just it's crazy because like still- I lo- like I really, really like. Uh, you know what I'll say? Man. All of them, but none of them at the same time. Right, like, I love all, all of them, but if you have none of them, I understand that. Exactly. Which is mind-blowing. Like, I'm just mind-boggled that we, we're at this point at you know, 4 Eastern time. It's just crazy. There's so much value that you don't even have to play the, the value from this game, like, at all. I mean... It's just insane. Poku... Like, he looks good. He's playing big minutes. This is such a letdown spot for, for – okay, see, I'm calling the Portland win here. Portland wins this game. Um, I mean, OKC okay, sucks, so it wouldn't surprise me. They're a three-point favorite on the road, which is nuts. Um, yeah, I mean, they're all in play from OKC. Okay, we'll, we'll build in a minute and see how much we get. How about the Portland side? Um, Keon Johnson? He's so bad, but – He's so bad. He's playing so many minutes. Yeah, and now they have no Watford too, who got hurt at the end of that game. Um, dude, that helped. One that was one like I was like right. I had Eubanks, and I was like right outside the money when this game was like with four minutes left. I had done in Eubanks. This was it was like the only game going. Eubanks, they like they were both weren't in the game. Like Eubanks was not in the game, but Watford got hurt, going badly hurt going up for, like, a layup. So he couldn't shoot the free throws. So Houston got to pick who shot the free throws, and they picked Eubanks. And he stayed in the game after that. He made one and, like, got, like, he ended up, you know, scoring, like, six more DFS points, which got me into the cash. So I'll forever love love Drew Eubanks. (laughs) And, And the coach for picking him to shoot free throws. Yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, what do you what do you think about him at seventy one hundred? I think he's wildly in play. I mean, yeah, I think he's wildly in play too. It's just again, it's just what like I honestly like the more I think about this, like the more I'm like I think I'm gonna play three point guards. Yeah, I'm with you. Because um, another guy I like that's gonna like well, Chris Dunn at forty four hundred, but Brandon Williams like. I know that sounds so crazy, but I like this spot for Portland. Like, I think he's putting up 40-plus here. Yeah, I mean, like, same thing with me. Like, I like my guy, C.J. Ellerby. Yeah, I like him, too. Like, right. see, why not? Right. thing I like about Ellerby is he's got small forward eligibility. Exactly. But who do you like more, him or Keon Johnson? Uh, Keon Johnson. That's Just because of the price. Yeah, exactly. Um, like all of Portland is in play, just like OKC, but none of Portland is in play at the same time. Like, I think anyone on this slate, even Jokic, like I don't think you have to play anyone or or you have to fade anyone. Like honestly, I don't. Yeah, no, I agree with that. All right, let's build. You go first. Oh boy. Okay. Let's go. Jokic at center. Uh, let's go. Poole at point guard. Okay. Uh, Mar- Murray at guard. Oh, actually, that's 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 really that's really hindering me. I mean, yeah, but like Keon, 
Right, that's what I'm saying. So, like, if you go small forward, if you go key on. This is cutting it deep, though, because, like, you need, that's, like, yeah. even, even key on is, like, above the, the – you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Yeah, so let's let's take DeJounte out for this one. All right, that gives me a lot more a lot more playroom, if you will. Yeah, because you got guys like Smart, Pritchard, Maladon. Right. So I'm going to go – Derek White at shooting guard. Uh, power forward, I want to go Kaminga. Um, let's see. So 53 left. Let's go Maladon at guard. Uh, God. This is, like, this is painful. Like Sangoon, if what is that? Right. Like, that's what I mean. Like, I, if, if he's out, Singoon. So, like, the same <laughs> argument, just put Poku at that forward spot because they're the same price. Yeah, it's, it was Jalen Smith. Right. And then and then that gets me a guy like, uh, what's his face there? Levert. Yeah. I get, but, like, there's so much more. Like, there's so many moving parts of, of whatever. Like, this, could, this line has to be irrelevant in an hour. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm actually looking right now. If no, nothing, just the same. All right, um, I'm gonna clear this, and I'm gonna go pool white. Brooks, Kaminga. Thice, Tice. I always do that. Um, man, like there's so much value, but like I don't even want to use any of it. Like, well, that's oh, what I mean. There's so much it hurts. I know, Saint Goon, because I'm expecting what's his name to be out. Uh, yeah, Brandon Williams. And then I got 93. Like, this is where I'd easily play Siakam. Right, right. Yeah, in that situation, absolutely. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, it would not shock me to see him go for 50. But, like, instead of Brooks, I could also go, like, Keon. Um, see, I'd need to get 400 for... Uh, yeah, for for Jokic, but all right, let's just say I put in Jokic. Can you can you get rid of Tice? What does that give you? Yeah, I'm sure I can. I'll go Jokic center, utility 33. This is where I like your boy Neesmith. Yep. I mean. If they're not playing for one of these teams that like, like Portland's or man, there's not much down here. I mean, there's there's like your boy Neesmith. Right, that's so good. Three K value, but like that's why it's hard to use Brandon. Let's say I went Pritchard. Thank you. Just I got some wiggle room. Yeah. I mean, how much is smart? Smart six, right? Yeah, smart six. I can go smart there. Right. I mean, the guys who play for Boston, like, should ball. Oh, I can go Jalen Green, Kevin Porter. Right, right. You're in that range. Well, there's plenty of play pieces to go to. Yeah, plenty of pieces. I'm, like, right off Brooks, I think. Yeah, I'm 100 away from Brooks, which sucks, but it is what it is. Man, this slate is just absolutely nuts. So um, I know I said that the we were only going to do the members only videos, no more public members only videos, but I lied again just because NBA is almost done. This slate is too nuts not to share with the public. 
especially because you came back on with me. Uh, any any final parting shots or words for this slate? Yeah, keep your head on a swivel and have the alerts on for injuries. Yeah, I mean, it's just – this is an all-timer right here. This this slate right here is an all-timer for sure. Um, yeah. End of the season NBA. Well, prepare for it if you're going to play. Like you just said, be prepared to update your lineups consistently. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Um and there's, I can't believe neither of us like had smart as a priority. It's just crazy. Right. I mean, there's just so much. Your boy Damian Lee. No, all these dudes that like, yeah. you know, like any other night would be like locks. We're just like, ah, maybe. Exactly. Now it's like there's there's probably 50 guys. Uh, no, there's probably 30 guys like that tonight. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Which is nuts. So, all right, that's all I got. Good luck, guys. Appreciate you as always. Catch you tomorrow. See you later, guys. Thank you.